playgrounds like this one are a great way for kids just to get that energy out, have some fun. It's unstructured play, allowing them to explore and be creative. And that's exactly what Dr. Olivia Carey likes to see from her patients. The pediatrician at Lakeview Pediatrics in Suffolk does have a few suggestions, though, if you do want to visit the playground this summer. For one, she says, make sure kids wear closed toed shoes as a precaution. She also suggests putting sunscreen on your kids really anytime they're outside and make sure to have plenty of water on hand too. Then bringing along a first aid kit just in case, never a bad idea. All we really want parents taking care of are simple bumps, bruises, cuts. So probably some gauze to hold pressure if there's any bleeding, clean off a wound, um, maybe some triple antibiotic ointment you can get over the counter at any drugstore, and then just a variety of band-aids and bandages. And if a cut won't stop bleeding or in the case of broken bones, she says that's when an urgent care or ER visit is probably needed. Concussions too. And I'll talk about those signs coming up a little bit later here on News 3 on WGNT. Another thing though, keep in mind playground services, especially later in the day when the sun is high, they can get pretty hot, especially those slides. So Dr. Carey says, when you get to the playground, if it is a hot day, if the sun's beating on the playground equipment, make sure to test it out. You don't want your kids to get burned. That, of course, is going to keep things from being as fun as they can possibly be.